Isaac Newton, the great English scientist and mathematician, was working at late night at his own house. By that time, he discovered what is gravity and number of laws of physics and theories on mathematics. Now he was concentrating deeply on some of his unfinished work. His pet dog, Diamond, was sleeping peacefully at his feet. Suddenly, Diamond jumped up onto the table, madly ran after an insect and hit the burning candle. Immediately, the candle drops on piles of papers, where research work of the last 20 years is being put. Immediately, it caught on fire and within an hour, it burned into ashes. Remember, on that time, there were no computers, no hard drives. Just imagine, what was the reaction of Sir Isaac Newton? Angry, furious, shouting, no. He very peacefully, calmly patted his dog Diamond and told, thanks Diamond, to help me to destroy all my mistakes and help me to start a fresh new beginning. Very good evening fellow Toastmasters and all guests. We are presenting an all new concept of excellence. Brilliance, excellence, distinction, merits does not depend only on creation, but it equally depends on destruction and de-attachment and moving forward. Let me clearly explain you. Destruction doesn't mean that you set fire on your own house and enjoy it from outside. Wow, I'm quite similar like Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> no. The inherent meaning of that, the very effective people in this art, in this universe, can concentrate on something, they can create something, and when they are done, they can deconcentrate and be attached from that and can move forward. Mediocre people, on the other hand, they also achieve some success, they also create something, but they do also create a comfort zone around that and they cannot come out from that. As a result, mediocre people achieve very few success in life. So, to achieve big highs of life, we need to destroy few things in life. One, our comfort zone. Two, our ego. And three, our status quo. The living things is distinguished from a dead thing by the multiplicity of changes it can create within. Always remember, success is always a journey and it will be. Whenever you are feeling that you have reached somewhere destination, you have to find out a new journey and you have to set for. That's the life. For an example, if I ask you, just name last five Android version released by Google or last five uh, uh, model name of Samsung smartphones. Many of you probably will be able to answer that because they are so recent, coming one after another. Whenever one model, one software version is very successful, immediately the second one came. And at that time, the sales of successful model hampers, but Google and Samsung has created better impact in the heart of consumers. They have created the entire brand value. On the other hand, the biggest handset maker Nokia could not destroy their comfort zone on time and later on they destroyed themselves. Nokia does not exist today. Number two, ego. When this kind of comfort zones happens in the mind, it creates an ego. And ego is the attachment to the wrong image of ourselves. I'll quote, I'll quote the example of very famous movie you all know, Three Years. The great principal Viru Shahastra Bhutti was a great man, was a really qualified man of in-depth knowledge on engineering, a very disciplined lifestyle, and he could write on both hands as well. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he just became a non-effective teacher because he could not destroy his ego on right time. He told Rancho, I am teaching engineering for last 30 years. How dare you to tell me how to talk? do it better? And Rancho just showed the better way to do it. Later on in the story, we have seen that the circumstances and situation made Mr. Viru Shahasrabhuti to accept his defeat. If he had destroyed his ego on the right time, he probably had been a winner. 
three, the status queue. It's very important. Status queue can be of two types. One is positional and one is mental, completely inside. For the positional, we all know the great Indian and Indian entrepreneur, NR Narayan Murthy, the top boss of Infosys. He left Infosys. He came out of Infosys when Infosys was at his top position, was doing excellent. And he was uh, living life as an individual. Later on, after a few years, when Infosys faced some business setback, he rejoined and again contributed something. So the matter of taxis, the very effective people on earth can change their status in their positional, functional status in whenever they want and can rejoin as per the need arises. Let's come to the mental status queue. It is even more important because we as an individual have to play many roles. We have to become a professional, we have to be a business person, we have to be a family person, parent, a spouse. There are many examples, the people who are very successful in their professional life, but their relationship broke because they could not destroy their status queue, their professional status queue when they are interacting with the family, when they are a spouse, when they are a parent. I will quote example of two amazing ladies on that. One is Sheryl Sandberg, the global CEO of Facebook, and another is Mary Tom, the great boxer from India. Both have climbed up at very high, much faster than others, and both are the great family person, mother and a very, very stable family they have. In one interview, Sheryl Sandberg said, I don't carry my status view of a global CEO when I am back home as a mother and a wife. And in one interview, Mary Tom said, I don't carry my status view of a lovely mother and wife when I'm in my boxing ring. So ladies and gentlemen, it is the high time you identify your comfort zone, your ego, your status view, which are making you stuck and stagnant. Destroy them and move forward. Over to you.